images from another world, like out of a dream. Authentic, yet bizarre. And impossible. Swedish artist Erik Johansson assembles images by digital retouching. Before getting started on a project, he sketches his ideas on paper. Then he decides what photographs he'll need to put his ideas into practice. I'm mostly inspired by painters, I think, and more than photographers, actually. That's, I think that's also the way I work. It's a bit more as someone who creates the picture rather than capture, captures it. Um, but I mean, uh, inspiration, it can come any time throughout the day. Johansson is still missing a few pieces of the puzzle for his latest project. He has lived and worked in Berlin for a year now and he knows just where to find what he needs. Tempelhof, a former airport, is one of the few open spaces in the city. With a smartphone, he determines the position of the sun at various times of the day. The pictures he cuts together later on must appear to come from a single scene. When you combine different photos, you have to have the same perspective and light. But perspective is something you can, you can usually place yourself in a position where you have the same perspective as in the picture you will combine it with. But light can be a bit hard when you're outside because you never know what the weather will be like. And uh, today we had some sun and we had some clouds. So I think I got both. So today we were lucky. Many of Erik Johansson's projects take months to finish, some even a year. Finding the right location can take a long time. draws on inspiration from surrealist painters like Salvador Dali, René Magritte or M.C. Escher. Eric has already been commissioned by companies such as Google and IKEA. Two years ago, he created an installation for the software giant Microsoft. The video for it was viewed more than 2.5 million times on YouTube. I prefer doing personal projects more. Um, because I, I don't have a limitation of a deadline. Uh, I can do whatever I want and uh, it's just my imagination that sets the limit in that sense. Johansson works with Photoshop at various levels simultaneously. Here he's inserting pictures from Tempelhof Airport into his present project. Editing can take several weeks too. Now the work is just missing a few final details. I'm really happy to be able to work with my hobby, in a way. Um, I really would love to show more of my work, of course, and I want more people to know about it. So I hope to do some kind of exhibition uh, in the future. But at the moment, I'm, I've been focusing on just creating pictures. The artist plans to publish a collection of his work. It could be out next year. Until then, Eric Johansson will continue to look for perfect subjects for his perfect illusions.